Did you know that Jonas has a POS training mode? The training mode can be accessed by creating a training user ID. The main purposes of setting up a training mode user ID is that it allows club staff to complete the following. The training mode will allow club staff to practice in POS and increase their overall speed of order entry. In order to access the POS training mode, you will first need to set up a training user if you do not already have one. You can set up this user by navigating to Administration, User Management, and User Administration. Locate your training account if you have one. Otherwise, you can go ahead and add another user. Set the user ID as one of the following options. It is very important that the user ID be one of these options, as Jonas is hard-coded to know that these IDs are training user IDs. You can even set up one training account for servers and one for supervisors. Let's take a look at the settings you will want to configure for a server training account. Enter a name, for example, server training. Note that the familiar name does appear on chits, so it would be handy to include that as well. You can enter the password as the user ID so that when a server logs in, all they have to do is enter the user ID and click enter to log in, i.e. they will not require a password to log in. Next, you will want to restrict this user's menu access. To do so, click the Menu Design button. Make sure all main menus are unchecked except for Point of Sale. From here, it's only recommended to enable the following menu options for a server training account. Once you've finished the menu design, click OK or the red X to exit this window. It may also be helpful to go into POS Access and enable Fast Login to POS Entry. Upon login, this will take the user right into POS to create their chits. You will also want to enable Cannot Use Comp Settlement. Click OK. Then click OK to save. Now let's look at the settings for a supervisor training account. You can actually select your server training account and then do a save as to create a copy of the server training account, as the supervisor training account has the same setup as the server training account, but more menu and POS access. Let's pull up our supervisor training account. Just like the server training account, make sure the user ID follows the user ID training format. For the password, you will probably want to create a unique password so that servers cannot access this training account. For the menu design, you also want to make sure all main menus are unchecked except for point of sale. From here, it is recommended to only enable the following menus for a supervisor training account. Once you've enabled these options, go ahead and click OK or the red X to exit the window. And don't forget to go into your POS access and enable the same settings as a server training account, as well as POS supervisor access and can combine open chits. You can optionally uncheck fast login to POS entry if required. Then click OK and OK to save. If you create any additional training accounts, make sure they follow the same setups. Not following this setup can result in real time and actual setting adjustments and transactions to take place. Now that the training accounts have been set up, they can be used to log into Jonas. Go ahead and enter the training user ID. And if set up, the server will be taken right to the POS screen. Here are a few things to note when you are in training mode. The label training mode only will appear on the chit entry screen. No prep printing will take place, i.e. you can select the send button, but nothing will print in the kitchen. You can, however, print the chits as usual. Here's an example of what a training mode chit looks like. While in training mode, you will still be using your actual menu designs and member list. When creating a test chit that is paid by cash, Jonas is programmed to print the words do not pay three times so that if the chit is given to a member accidentally in test mode, the member won't pay for it and can alert the server that they are in training mode. The end of day update has the preview option only, i.e. no update members option. This means you can train staff new to Jonas on the actual current POS system without disrupting your kitchen operations. 
Therefore, no postings can ever occur to your member accounts since there is no update option. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.